Hey guys, Galusia here, and today what I've decided to do is make another nuclear reactor, which may sound a bit much, <laughs> but I decided that this is a necessary step because, hmm, how many do I want to make? I'm going to start off with four. I've decided this was a necessary step because a six chamber reactor as I have, which is you know it's a pretty nice reactor and it's pretty awesome but it's it's only going to be safe to a certain limit now it generates a lot of power and i've gotten to the point where it's become too much of a time consuming and uh it's just a, a general pain in the butt to work the open pit mine and uh oh shoot i don't have enough to make four kinda plan that out poorly I need more redstone no now I have to realign all this crap um but yeah it's too it's become too much of a hassle to gather all that like raw material just to stick into the uh, recycler to try to get some scrap to speed up the whole process with the mass fab and make better use of your power which it does but like I said, it's becoming a bear. And let me grab one of these. So I've gotten to the point where I'm basically just um, hooking up. Let's see. I'm going to need a lot of these. But I don't want to fill my inventory up with them because they don't stack. But I've gotten to the point where I'm just leaving the mass fab hooked up to the... Uh, MFSU for a while and just using straight power to make iridium ore uh, which obviously you know that works and it's getting the job done but um, shoot how many plates do I want to make um, I'm going to start out with two because I don't want to use all my advanced well I guess I have to make one at a time anyway because I don't have enough things for it um, so because I'm just using straight power, and because I'm, uh, that's all I'm really doing to make the things, I figured I could use another nuclear reactor. Now, the second nuclear reactor, I wasn't planning on making it, like, a six-chamber reactor like the one I already have, and, you know, going OP with it. Um, I'm thinking it's going to just be a simple reactor maybe two chambers because I basically I'm gonna have it set up to be two pieces of uranium touching so I'll have to see how many chambers I actually need to create to safely set that kind of arrangement up so that's basically uh, what we're looking at right now that's what I'm trying to do and in the previous episode I had uh, talked about how I wanted to kind of have just like an industrial craft, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, building episode where I just, you know, build lots of industrial craft stuff and kind of just do more industrial crafty type things. Because I'm not, oh, I need to make more plates. I'm not, uh, like I said in the previous episode, I've been doing a lot of just preparatory stuff for taking on the end. And in doing that, um, it's kind of got me to stop focusing on recording industrial craft stuff, and I kind of just do that in the background. But I know a lot of you like the industrial craft, and you want to see that kind of stuff. So I didn't want to um, completely rob you of that or whatever. So that's what we're doing. Uh, let's see. I have to look up the reactor because I forget the exact layout. I know how to make reactor chambers but the actual nuclear reactor itself I forget the actual uh, arrangement. If I can find it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. I'm looking up the recipe as we speak. Okay. And it needs a generator. Okay. I have one of those downstairs that I never use. And I was just talking to my buddy Grim about this maybe a couple minutes ago, like a half hour ago or something. I still have this backup generator, but I don't even use it. And I got to the point where I was using coal as a thing to recycle. 
because I have so much of it that I recycled like four stacks of coal. So, yeah. Okay, so we got generator. I'm glad I saved two of those. The two reactors. Okay, so I have everything I need to make just a basic reactor. A little bit of that action. And it's just like, I have so much in the way of... Um, I have so much in the way of resources that it really wasn't like a waste or whatever for me to do what I just did. And I I think anyway that that was a perfectly reasonable thing to do to use all those materials up because it will get me my it will get me power faster and that's really what it's all about because this is just it's taking so long that like entire weeks are going by where I really don't have anything that I can really record because uh, all I'm really doing is digging and recycling <laughs> and that's basically it so I'm gonna kind of I'm gonna go put this shoot I don't have any let me go grab a stack of like dirt or something just so I have something to place it with I I'm gonna go place this and kinda and then I'm gonna kinda think about it about how I want to go about this whole process I'm gonna put it in the water same as I did the other one it's going to be being followed that's right punks the wrath of Galusia. I'll pretty much put it next to this one and just keep it spaced down enough so that they're not touching or whatever. Well, good thing he was in the water. <laughs> Did nothing. Alright. He killed himself for no reason. Okay, so we got that going. Probably put it just like right over here. So... Okay, whenever you're ready, start placing dirt. Pain in the ass. And I can make it... Oh, jeez. That's not where I wanted to put it, but that's where it's going, because I don't want to pick it up. <laughs> so, there it is. Okay. Give her all this dirt. Alright. Now, it should be that all I have to do is... The, the fiber optics or the glass fiber cable is really good at carrying current and I should be able to just hook it up to this have the cable going in in two to two directions and that should be enough to uh, power it like it both should go to the thing we'll have to kinda come up with a test to um, great We'll have to try to come up with some type of test to see how much power it's generating right now like that. And then when we plug it in to this, how much power it's creating. Okay, so, yeah, I'm going to need one chamber, I think. Because I'm going to put the two cells right here. And then on either side, I would want a the heat dispersers and then the coolant cells. Oh, shoot. Well, then I would need two. Well, that sounds heavy two chambers I need a eh, I guess that makes sense but kind of sucks that I have to create two enti uh, two entire chambers just to uh, do what I'm trying to do here but I guess that makes sense because it's gonna be half the power output and it's gonna be half the size so that makes sense I didn't want to like I said I didn't want to go overboard and make a giant uh, thing out of it I just wanted to Oh, let me keep working on that. Okay, so being that that's the case, um, let me see here. So once again, I'm going to need the copper. I'm going to need those. Redstone. Uh, right, I used all that up. So we're going to need this. We're going to need this. Uh, we're going to need this. And I'm gonna need to make more cables. So I'm gonna. Oh, I already took herper derp. I already took that rubber. Thankfully, I made some rubber not that long ago. Let's see. How much do I want to make? Let's let's just do six. 
I don't want to waste it and make a ton, but 36 cable is a healthy amount. Okay. Um, well, I hate that you have to use an advanced circuit just to make a freaking uh, integrated heat disperser. That's really a heavy recipe for something so simple. Because all it, all it literally does is disperse the heat to the other things. It's not... It doesn't seem like it's such a hypercritical component to the chamber or whatever, but it... Man, it just... Because that's so many resources you have to make just for that. That seems a bit extreme, but whatever. Okay, so... Da-da-da-da. Da-da-da-da. But so, this should help us to get ever closer to the end goal and uh, using our industrial craft might to take on the Ender Dragon, which I'm really excited about. I think that's going to be a load of fun and a really, you know, fun episode. But that's why I wanted to show some... Oh, wait, shoot. I need to make uh, some more plates first. So let's just make four for now because I don't want to clog up my inventory. Biggity-bam. Okay. Plates. Cool. Cool. And see, like, I, I'm using up all my coolant cells that I was going to be using to put into the chamber just to make these damn things. So. Stacking up fast. Alright, so I need one more of them just for the damn chamber itself. Because I want two chambers. So, do that. Biggity bam. Like, this is a building block for a chamber, and I'll accept that as a, uh, as a necessity or whatever, but the fact that you also need that very same thing in the chamber to actually make it successful and work proper, that I do not accept. I find that to be silly and excessive. Okay, I'm going to need three, four, four more plates for now. Whoops. Biggie bam. Using up a lot of advanced alloy. It's kind of good though, because we're like sucking up all the uh, resources. Because I had so many of them that it was almost becoming like a storage issue. Like I just literally didn't know what I was going to do to store all this crap it was really starting to pile up so this way we uh, definitely saw all that because I'm using up resources like a madman okay so there we go we got two two chambers two chambers um, we're not gonna have nearly enough coolant cells so I'm just gonna go ahead and make these other nine coolant cells as well coolant cells are a pain in the butt since you have to keep pulling it out for it to work why am I going over there Endless water spring. All right. Hopefully this this should make a pretty big impact though on how much power we generate and so on and so forth. All right. So that's that. I'm gonna need to make. I still have two of these. So while I'm at it, I'm gonna make two more uh, heat disperser dealamagoos. Because I'm going to need it. Why do I keep doing that? Uh, oh, shoot. I need plates. I keep doing that, too. Okay. Uh, two more plates. I'm running out of materials like that I grabbed. And I grabbed full stacks of stuff. I was like, I'm going to just take a stack of this, a stack of that. And I'm running out. That's how much this does. I'm going to have to grab more copper to finish doing what I'm doing right now. Okay. So I'm going to make two more heat disperser thingies because I have the advanced circuits already for it so I might as well uh, whoops wrong thing click oh I think I was cooking stuff too hey look at that I was need one more of this guy let's go hurry up boom alright that way I can at least start to arrange things once I set it up to kind of see how it's all going to fit in. It's going to be a 
few minutes before I have enough. Um, I just don't have the time to get it all done now as far as actually setting it up and stuff, but we're getting all the components, so that's good. Um, right, so I'm going to go ahead and put this stuff back down to uh, less than a stack of the glowstone now. Uh, what else? I got rotten meat for some reason. Redstone, which I've used over a stack of already. That's pretty intense. Um, right. The rubber. You get rid of that. The advanced alloy, which I used a ton. I think I had 40 of that when I started. Now I'm down to two. So that's that's also uh, pretty intense as far as how much of that I'm using. I don't think I need dirt anymore. I think we're good on that. And I needed to steal some more. I was using the glass fiber cable if you'll remember back to a while ago to make the mining machine work better since I figured the copper cable was too much of a power drop off and this kind of helped it along but since I'm not really using the mining machine anymore I just have like cables strewn about and the mining machine just sitting there not doing anything uh, this way I can re I can collect all that up and put it to a better use so we'll just slap that all on the side there. Nice. Okay, so now the two will go in the middle. These will go on either side as such. And then they'll have that as such. And uh, it'll work pretty good. I know this episode's been a little bit long, but... Let me see how much power I have. Okay. I know this episode has been a little bit long, but I'm going to go ahead and... Um, I'm going to at least try to get it started and set up my I'm not 100 percent sure how I can really measure like the time as far as charging I might just try to come up with some arbitrary numbers and whatnot and just see what I can make work okay I really don't want to make more heat dispersers right now that's a lot of effort and it's a lot of um, monies and whatnot so for now we're gonna have to be okay with just the two I do need to make more cells though. Get to use some tin because I obviously have a lot of that as you can tell. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and make some coolant cells while I'm at it. Not a lot. I'll just make like four for now. I really just needed it to make uranium cells. But while I'm at it, I'll do that. Um, almost done. Okay. So, for now, I'm going to stick them in there, like, both of them, and then the bottom one won't have any heat dispersers on it. It'll strictly just be, uh, coolant cells touching it, and the top one will have the heat dispersers, so that one will be a little bit better off, and it is what it is, because... Like I said, it's just it's a time-consuming thing, and I don't feel like taking the time to do it. So, <laughs> But I'm going to tr quickly try to come up with a method to measure it, just to see if we can see if it has an impact. Make sure that it works with the way that we're splicing the cable into the other cable. Um, like I said, the I know the glass fiber can handle the current. I just want to make sure that it's all getting into the MFSU properly. So, I think what I'll do is we'll go in here real quick click on this and I'm gonna actually pull out my stopwatch app for my phone do 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 stopwatch app stopwatch app okay and I'm just gonna measure the time it takes to get a 10,000 so I started it and Boom. Okay, so about six seconds for 10,000 power, which is impressive for what it's worth. That's actually pretty damn impressive already. Um, but I, this should increase it by 50% based on my limited knowledge of everything. So if that's the case, then it should only take about four seconds or so. And so we'll see what does with this. I've, and as you can see, you know, 
very basic setup these bottom cells here and this one on the top will probably start to have some issues where they'll slowly run out of um, their cooling ability if you will the durability bar on the bottom so eventually I'm gonna have to get around to making more of the heat dispersers but um, that will come with time okay so let's by now it should start its effect it takes a minute for it to kind of get you know going but we'll measure it now oh I missed the button wow because I was trying to look at the screen and the button at the same time okay Yep, four seconds, exactly. So look at that. Hey, my math was right. It's a 50% increase, and it went from six seconds per 10,000 to four seconds per 10,000. Who would have thought that I would do math properly? Now, the last thing I'm going to do before I go, someone suggested this, and I should have already built it, but someone suggested that if I that you can place a lever on top of a mass fabricator, and if you do that, you can leave it hooked up, and then you just hit the switch, and to turn it on and off, which I think is really cool. I didn't know you could do that. Seems simple enough. Seems like the kind of thing that you should be able to do. I just, I had no idea that you could do it. I, ironically enough, I don't have any uh, stone. So I will just go down here real quick and take a piece. Because I use it all for the recyclers. I literally had no stone. Have you ever had that problem in Minecraft? Just like, oh my god, like... <laughs> I'm doing all this advanced stuff, and it <laughs> turns out I don't have any stuff. Ah, crap! I had the wrench in my hand by accident. Oh, man, I am just failing. Can't believe I had the wrench in my hand by accident. I was literally just trying to, like, click on it to open it up, and then I just broke the crap out of it. That's really funny. Okay, let's try that again. Put the thing back. Stick that in there, turn it into stone. I need a stick of sorts. I thought I had regular wood, no? Just I thought I already had planks, I mean. All right, sticks. Wood. Whoops. Wait. How do I make a lever? What's the arrangement for a lever? Is it just cobble? What the hell? Oh, is smooth stone for a button? Maybe. And you can use cobble for a lever? Oh. Oh, I didn't have to cook it after all. Well, I have a piece of cooked stone. It's been a while since I've made a lever. Don't really find myself needing it that often. Okay. So we're going to go see if this works or not. Because I think that would be awesome. I'm also curious to know if that works for all machines. Like if I stick a lever on top of a furnace, I can turn it off even if there's stuff still in it. That might be useful. So rather than like pulling stuff out of the machines, you can just turn them off if like you needed to to conserve one power or something. Okay, so you said hold shift, and then you can place it. Okay, and then we're going to plug this bad boy in. Okay, and as of right now, it is clearly making stuff. And now it's not. Oh, man, that is awesome. All right, well, I, I'm very sorry I forgot to write down your name. It was a comment that was made on episode 33 of Industrial Craft, and I'm just now getting around to checking that out. But So thank you for that comment. It obviously has helped, and that is really rad. Um, and this looks like it's holding up. Maybe those two heat dispersers is enough to get the job done with everything else. This bottom one looks like it's slowly... The bottom and the top one look like they're getting beat up a little bit, but maybe since these two are touching these two integrated heat dispersers that that's enough to keep them alive and well maybe if i just make one for the top and bottom i can get away with not making one for the sides and save on resources a little bit i'll experiment with that but this episode has been quite long now so i'm going to wrap it up got a whole bunch accomplished today we're definitely going to be able to uh make iridium ore at a faster rate and that is very needed because i still need four plates and as of right now I only have enough iridium ore for one plate so because uh, it's four pieces of iridium ore for one plate so I have enough for one and a half so it's a ways to go um, but we made a lot of strides towards uh, that end goal of being able to do that so uh, thanks for that tip pro tip with the lever thing and thanks to everyone for watching and I'll see you guys next time Laters.